Y'all, if you're if you were listening to our virtu- like our if you're watching us on YouTube, you know that we started this without push and go. Oh yeah. And I want to let you know that we are now released. We have a new podcast on Mondays. It's Parenting Teens Unfiltered, and we have experts on there, and we talk from like a perspective. And I was thinking the common parent members should be able to ask questions prior to the mm-hmm. interview that mm-hmm. we can ask the expert for mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. So they get their questions answered. Mm-hmm. Like we'll pull like a few and then ask them to answer so it like ahead of time. Ahead of time, we'll have to announce who's coming on and what their expertise is. Yeah. yeah. And then they can go in yeah, and yeah, get the answers idea. questions. So those common parents in that community get like a really great um, bonus. And plus they get like a PDF of like <sighs> what to do. Mm-hmm. what to say what what the interview was about if you don't have time to listen to yeah everyone. i loved her steps she had five steps about where you start yeah to where you where you finish i i think i knew i know the first one is sitting down talking about it but those are she's like i do I do these four steps. anyways she went through it all and there's lots of um <clears throat> really good um take homes from that podcast but um Guys, this is the Tuesday Chit Chat with Kat and Nat. And just want to let yeah, you know that me. the tour that is coming up and we're doing um, in May in Boston, Rochester, and Buffalo is really coming together. And it is a totally <gasps> new show. There is everything is different, um, every, except every- for we will be there and it will be fun. But Dude, it doesn't, it's not going to look the same. It's not going to sound the same. It's not going to be the same people. We have to tell the truth. We have to tell that person. Yeah. I just so much, um, you know, we knew that it was a new tour. We wanted to be different. Yeah. But we really, we really took a turn. I, in such a good way. I know. It just feels so fresh and exciting and new. Like and it's going to be, it's going to be. I was like, it feels like a concert. Mm-hmm. I know. There's just so much that's going to happen within those like two hours that you're in the theater that um you will be fully fully entertained yeah mm-hmm. is this a tu- what is this tuesday i was gonna say so i realize never mind i was thinking of something i was thinking that i'm beginning to realize my issues oh through all of our interviews with the common parent <laughs> i'm beginning to realize them because i mm-hmm have mm. I don't like conflict in my house mm-hmm. I don't like the feeling of people upset or mm. mad mm. Mm-hmm. so I often go and just fix it so mm-hmm. there's not a problem mm-hmm. like I'd rather just fix everything it's not a big deal it's not a big deal it's not mm-hmm. a big deal I have to I thank you for coming to my therapy um I'm so glad we can do therapy together on my couch with my best friend yeah, it's best friend therapy that's yes. a great podcast name. yes and just so you know Oprah told us that she's never had therapy because she has Gail exactly mm-hmm. so I thought to myself why am I not okay with con- why does conflict bother me so mm. much you have it too mm. we both have- what mm-hmm. why I help me I don't like the feeling I know, but I know. why do we don't like when people in our life, in Mm-mm. our, like, we don't like our kids having to deal with conflict. We don't like seeing, we don't care if they fight, Mm-mm. but we don't like the feeling that we would rather lie, just, bury and yeah, steal just, than make the conflict come to head. Yeah. I'd rather just be like, you know what? Let's forget all about it and let's just be happy. And so many people have so, such a problem with not dealing with your issues and I totally get it. But I think I, and I know that like, we're the problems a bit. The, the, that might be but okay you know like people are like you have to like you have to deal with your issues you have to yeah. handle the conflict you have to you have to, you have to do all of these things uh-huh but isn't there also something to be said about um everybody does it different and our way can be okay too? I just, yeah as long as we're teaching our kids that conflict's okay like where we kind of like make it feel like conflict's not okay like what for them. I mean, we just got off the thing, a whole thing with chores and stuff. And I am like, it's not oh. a big deal. Like, it's like, I don't want them to be held accountable or responsible mm. for the consequences that they school. Don't give a f- which is crazy. Cause mm-hmm. you think that's where I'd go like ah, mm. buck wild. But in the house, I want it to just be Disneyland and I hate Disneyland. Sorry. I want it to be like an all inclusive vacation where no one's there. And it's just so fun. You can run wild in the house, but everyone's well behaved because you can't go off the property because that would be dangerous. Mm-hmm. But you just get to go in and play and drink and eat and go I'm to the just, beach and I, be warm I, and hot. This can be very naive, guys. But I mean, both of our houses are really Kinda like that. Really nice places to be. I know for now. It. <laughs> I mean, aren't we almost done? 
<laughs> for now i mean i feel like it's like it's gonna you know like well, you never here's the problem with parenting mm-hmm. you never know how bad you fucked up till it's too late i i'm just saying you know what i was thinking recently i was i was thinking actually this morning i went into tj's bed and yes. we were cuddling whatever Yes. And it's so funny. Last night he goes to me, hey, mom, I've got a great idea. Why don't I skip tutor and we can cuddle? I'm, I'm like, like, you're hilarious. Both of our kids. Yeah. Why would you want to be outside yeah. when you can be Just have a bath cuddle. and lie in bed and cuddle? Why would you want to? I'm with you. Because it was so sunny. And I'm like, I'm feeling bad about this. I'm like, I feel like she was sick. But she's like, why yeah. would you want to go outside I, when you can have a bath so and get I cozy? Was, cuddling him and loving him. And I was thinking to myself while he was, because his eyes were still closed, that he must be like, he must know, you know, there's children that will grow up feeling like nobody love, really loved them. Oh. I know. It's, it's, it's true, That's right? That's where we're going, okay. He will, and the rest of them, all of ours, will always know that we had so much love to give them. They must feel the love. I love Because we have it's been re- there. <laughs> like Thank we, you. We have been there for them so much that, and, and, and in a really nice, fun way, like we like them too. Oh yeah, I do. So I think that- Especially when they're fun. I'm, I know, I'm hoping, this is what I was telling myself. Yeah, tell Is me. that if they, I've heard that if people, if, if children grow up with love, Yes, they're fine. That and, and they really feel like in, important in a fam uh, in, in a yeah. family, and they feel love and they feel safe and all of that. Which I know there's a lot of kids who don't grow up like that. But I'm and I'm I'm sorry for your situation, and I empathize with you. But I can, I can only worry about my household right now, and um and they feel safe and all of that. That they're going to end up all right. Okay. Um, I don't. I've heard it, so I, I like to believe those things. I had this this friend and her. She asked her mom, you know, she saw these kids that were, she heard about like the friends and stuff that were, the kids were having a really hard time. Yeah. And she was like, although this doesn't always work, but I'm just going to pretend this. You know what? That that if, you know, if they, if if their parents really loved them and they felt, and they felt that love, then, then they wouldn't be like that. But then I'm thinking that love is tricky. I think you have to feel value and love within your house. So you have to feel valued. Like you're not just there because some people feel valued only for like certain things rather than actually feeling like they're of value. Very Yes. In the house. And, and love has nothing to do with value. And I think that there's also like, I think that now in this world, like maybe the advice of just like love them and stuff was maybe okay back then, but now we have so many exterior um, things that are coming into our kids' world, and with mental health and um, and fucking COVID and yeah, phones and all yeah. of this social stuff. media, yeah, and like just access to like so many things. I think that the simplicity of just saying love them is uh, is fairy tale land. That being said, tell me, I've got to convince myself yes. in the moment that that's all they Enough. need is just to know. How, uh, that they've received a lot of love from me and that I love them. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what, what else we're going to tell ourselves. I don't think we're, I think things are going, fucking knock on wood. I think things are going well so far, as far as we've come. I don't know about tomorrow. I know. But so far, I think they're pretty reasonable people. And also, I, I know, but the ones that are unreasonable are not that old yet. I know, but we'll just keep doing it the way that we've done it. Okay. The other thing I was thinking is how freaking lucky you and I are that we have, because we're going away on vacation together soon. We haven't been away in a long time, but we have seven kids. Yeah. And none of them right now, and they haven't, none of them are like, you know, when you have that weird cousin. (laughs) Yes. You know? Yes. And they just are, their their siblings are totally normal. Yeah. Yeah. But they're just that weird one. Yeah. We don't have one of those in the seven yet. Trying to go through them all. No, okay. They're all just kind of regular. Regular. You know average I mean? folk. <laughs> they're average folk. They're, you know, they're just like, there's not one that's like, oh my God, being around them is fun. Yeah, that's very true. It's kind of lucky, but then I also think, is it luck or is it because of the way that we raise them? That's a great question. But then again, if you have five kids and then you got one weirdo, then it isn't the way you raise them necessarily. They were just born that way. But I'm going to give us credit credit for having these seven kids right now today that are great because of us. I like that. I think they're great people mm-hmm. for now. Mm-hmm. I know. We can only say for now. For now. Like I'm really, you know, I, you know, my standards are very low 
And I'm not seeing any red flags. That's what I mean. Like I, I'm mean? not seeing jail time for any of them right now. Like I'm not concerned really about drug dealing with any of them. You? Drug dealing, no. No, no drug dealing. Oh, we were talking about drug dealing. Stealing? Oh, we were saying that someone would be a really good drug dealer. Yeah, no, stealing? Uh, no, stealing, I feel like there is a part of stealing that is a, um, like, a, uh, there's, like, kids that are stealers. Yeah, like, I'm thinking, like, but, like, there is a part of um, teenage life that it's experimental that you steal, you try stealing. I feel like they're past that. Oh, yeah. I feel like they would have stolen. Oh. Like, I feel like stealing's, like... Because it's you steal and, makeup and, and you, have, you have tap now, so they're not even going to steal. They just tap something. <laughs> they have our cards. They would just go tap it. Really, you know what I mean? Like I feel like stealing is now. They put something in my Amazon cart that I didn't see, and then when I go and push go because I don't check my cart all the time, and I'm like, how did this end up here? And she's like, yes, you didn't check your cart. I think the place that they might try stealing is my corner store, but what they don't know is I know the owner so well, and he said that he caught. One of the kids stealing. Yeah. And so he told the mom. I mean, my kids would be so afraid to steal. I can't even imagine them mm-hmm. trying to steal. I think, like, they'd Did you ever sh- steal? Nope. Never. I'm sure for my parents, just money. Oh. Like coins for a popsicle. Mm-hmm. The 20 bucks out of the wallet. But not, no, not like, no, I didn't steal. Drug dealing, I'm just trying to think of what else would really be like oomph, like really terrible. Because well, I also think, you know, when you have more of them, your chances are higher that you know something's gonna happen to one of them so that's really what i was thinking about with tj this morning you know it's just like well, he had those two aren't out the clear yet no no because but they're so i don't mean to scare you i like those little ones so much i know but i will know don't that, worry about that girl mm, I, the thing is i've talked to so many people who you know because um, my daughters go to a school that start young and go late you know like start mm-hmm. young and go old mm-hmm. and i have a lot of you know, people in like grade nine now, mm-hmm. ninth grade that are like in such a sweet kid, one through six. I don't know what happened. <gasps> la, 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 la. Well, what are they like now? How bad oh. is it? Mm. Oh. Real bad. Real bad. So I was well, like, it'll be kind of fun if we have a rebel. No, it, no, we'll, it won't be fun. Let's we'll do it, it together. T- then it's yours. If you think it's fun. No, then, I, I can't deal with no, that. No, you, you'll handle it better. I do not want one. I don't. <laughs> want one it is you i can't deal with that no, then don't say it's fun okay but you it, just it'd be funny you. no nope not funny nope i you know what they're Maybe gonna I, do some things right i'm fine with that do the things just don't get pregnant don't get arrested don't deal drugs what are we gonna do when they do something big and they get hot i mean give what me could some, they possibly do you're right give me something oh we catch that they were drinking so <laughs> give me right. something what more. else would they do um don't get addicted uh, don't get, I guess I guess the only thing is that their normal experimentation of teenagehood um, is, I guess if they did something online though and they got caught with it, we would support them because I mean, we know they didn't. I told you so. Oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to ever say that, by the way. I fucking told you so. You know what? We'd pull up a PowerPoint presentation to the rest of them and say, do you see this? This is what could happen to you. Don't do this. We told him or her and they did it. Now look, rest of you learn your lesson. Then it's over. You know what I don't want? I would never do that. I don't want to feel like I raised them to like move out. And guys, I know oh, this. And then they get older and they don't move out. Oh, that could be one. And then they have issues and come back. And oh, I know that happens all the time. Oh, yeah. They're never no, done parenting. No, 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 no issues. Like I don't want them after to... eighteen. I don't think. Stop I, that's talking. what I'm saying. Stop, Stop talking you, to me. Have a it's, great... You're an adult. This is your life. You handle it. You know what I mean? Like I don't want totally. them to like. Oh. I don't want. To, I don't care about your girlfriend that broke up yeah. with you. You yeah. know what? That's sad. Get over yeah. it. Your wife divorced you. Yeah, you were kind of a dick. <laughs> you weren't there. You didn't make enough money. No, just kidding. But like you know, because they come back and they have problems. You know, but what, we're not accepting that. Do you know what you're great? I was thinking the other day. I'm like, oh, no. no, I actually because at first I thought it could be a massive problem. <laughs> no, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Back when it was happening, it's actually, no, it still happens. It's, it's actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is and it? And I've come to realize. I was going to text you the other day. I'm like, it's actually a skill. It's a really good skill. But I could see how it could annoy people, but not me. <laughs> Okay, people like my children or people? No, no. I think it's a, it's it's great. It's great. It's a great yeah. skill. I actually admire you for it. It's like 
you actually, there's no problem. There's never a problem. Even if there's a problem, yeah. it's not a problem. Uh-huh. Like it's not a problem. Yeah. And you always figure it out, even if it's in the ninth hour. Like it's like you, it just, you, it's like, how do I put this? It, How's that different than you? Because I think about it nonstop and then I problem solve before I even get to the ninth. I problem uh, solve in the first hour. You wait till like, if there's 10 hours, you wait to 9.59. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, then I'll just do this. And it's like, there's, and everyone else is like, oh, and then you're like, it, it's, and then I commit, even though at the ninth hour, it might not be the best decision. I convinced myself that was the right one. Yeah. It's really quite remarkable. Like we've had problems. It's never a problem. And then it's, but then the problem's done and we fix the problem. But it's interesting that there's really never a problem in your head. Never. Like you could be alone with four kids and you haven't even thought about where someone has to go or mm. how they're going to get there or what they're going to do. And then, right. then it works out. Right, right, like, right. You, right, right. It's true. like you don't even think about the mm. follow through there's mm-hmm. no thinking of the follow through but it works out which is such right. it's a talent i really it's i was gonna text you i'm like it's pretty fucking remarkable because what could possibly but what could possibly happen that where it doesn't work out i mean somebody uh, gets left behind or i think i would worry about how they were feeling my kids mm. i'd be like kate i wouldn't like want them to go home and I don't know. It's my issue. Mm. I just don't like the thought of them not knowing what what's happening. Mm. I also don't like the thought of them, like not knowing where right, 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 where they're they would not, go. Like, or, like, like when they're like, "What's the plan?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And they're like, "But yeah, I need to know the plan." Or like you were like, "You have to Uber." Like you're not right, no, right, right, right. You know, I don't want to. Well, you have mm-hmm. no option. Mm-hmm. Which I think builds more resilient kids. Mm-hmm. But there's no even if everyone's like, "No, it's not going to work." You're like, "It's going to work," mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then you kind of there, so it has to work. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't work, no one remembers it doesn't work because it, it something else had to go the other way. Mm-hmm. But it is what I, I like am constantly like one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. You're just like one mm-hmm. and then it's five. Mm-hmm. It's quite remarkable. It's kind of, a, it's a, if you can, because if you're with someone who's like a one through fiver, mm-hmm. it can be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. It can be like, you don't, you're like, no, right, no, right, it's right, fine. Right, and you're right. like, no, it's not because yeah. the one through fiver can't help me in one through five. Right, Yes. Where I just let you do your, I just let you go to five and then I figure out our one through four, but for my benefit, mm. not because I don't trust you, just because I'm like, I, I'm not waiting till we get there. Like mm-hmm. I'm already thinking about a certain mm-hmm. situation and mm-hmm. I've already got one through five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where I'm sleeping, what mm-hmm. the bed looks like. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm fine. We'll just get there and figure the fuck out. Uh huh. You're very, um, it's a talent because I think it doesn't stress. Like when you ruminate about, when you think about plans, it, What's the point? Oh, it's just too much for me. I get overwhelmed if I think too much. I know, but it's day of for you often. Like it's night mm-hmm. of. Mm-hmm. I don't know how that kid's going to get home. Mm-hmm. And then someone walks in and saves the day. And I feel like I kind of feel like, I think I always kind of feel um, that somebody could help me. I could ask yeah, somebody. Yeah, I, I do agree with you on that one. You it know just, what I mean? Like you just I, know that I don't it, it, often ask the people for help, but like if I needed to, I I would be okay with asking. But just be aware you never have a problem. Mm. Okay. I can't wait to tell you my next problem. I mean, there's problems, but really very rarely, never situational problems. Mm. Like, I could tell you exactly everything I need to do for a kid, and you're like, oh, that's a fucking no, we'll figure it out. Mm. You know, one of the biggest problems that I had one time was when I couldn't find my passport, and we were flying with the girls. To New York. Yep. And this is just like something that I was like, that was such a shit show. Yeah, but it was never a problem. In a moment, in that moment, I had already worked through, in those seconds where I couldn't find the passport. Yeah. I had already worked through the, of like, I'd already been like, well, hey, I'll go tomorrow. You'll take the girls. I'll go tomorrow. (laughs) Or I won't go. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not taking them alone. (laughs) I did think there was a possibility that I just would never be able to go. Yeah. No, I know, but it's, it wasn't a problem. I know. I was just like, stay calm. And then it fucking appeared. Yeah. I I think it- Did I, was, I get into the same car as you? Yeah. <sighs> that was- I was just thinking though, like over the weekend, because you had four kids mm-hmm, on your own mm-hmm, and there was a lot of minutiae mm-hmm. and it was, and you're like, I just, I can't make it to the dance. And mm-hmm. I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Because for me, it'd be like a problem. I couldn't make it to the dance. Mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. Expectations of my own self. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that is a, that was a- you know, when you have friends, they teach you about yourself, about your problems when they don't have any. Mm-hmm. Like I can see what I my problem is. Mm-hmm. 
And you know, the other thing about like the weekend too is think about all the planning that went into trying to get everybody where where they were and it didn't work out anyways, even if you did all the planning. Right. Was that what was like that? how your husband missed the dance? Oh my and then God. You, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like things are going to happen if they're going to happen anyways. So and I just wonder how many people know their issues. Mm. Like how many people were you, if you could be like, what are you, if you're in a relationship right now, what are your issues? Mm-hmm. I know my issue. I know my issues really well as a parent. Mm. I really know my parental issues. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's more that I'm not even aware of. Mm-hmm. Sleeping, massive one, mm. like their beds. Mm-hmm. I'm having a panic attack about camp because I can't imagine him feeling tired. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, like you don't want him to be tired. Oh my God. I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of being tired and cold. You feel strung out. I hate mm. being tired. And that's me. literally how so many teenagers and kids live. I hate that feeling. Like, you cold. know, people have sleepovers and they stay up all night long. Ew, I hate that. But we did it. No, I know. And I we know. survived it. I know. And but they like it. And ooh. they'll do it again. Oh, and I think about like like warm food. I, mm. I am a fucking issue, okay? Mm. So yeah, I think that is, I'm like, letting him go is like making my skin crawl. I felt when our kids went to sleepover camp that one time, I... Did not like it. I wanted them to come back. I yeah. felt like they were. I didn't understand the parents who were like, "Can their kids can go away all summer?" I couldn't wait for them to come home. Yeah, I was counting down the days, and I didn't even know that one of them was crying. You, and you know, a, a big, a big thing for me is that he won't have a phone. Like mm-hmm. I like that. I'm excited mm-hmm. for like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a one month like sayonara with mm-hmm. a phone. Oh, she's dreaming. Um, I'm excited for that. That I don't like when any of them go away. No, I don't like that feeling. So I don't- I'm glad that I'm not going to be here for a lot of the time that Max isn't here because if he wasn't here for a whole month that I was here, I wouldn't like that. And that's a big issue for me. Um, and I, I was like, when I thought that Olivia was going to, after California, go to camp, I was like, no, I don't want her gone. I don't like it. I don't want them gone. I it- love that Chloe isn't considering. No. In- I'd hate for her to be gone. Yeah. And even like, and I feel bad if they ever have to do something full day. Like if they have to go from nine to four, yeah. I feel very bad. I'm like, oh, that would be terrible. I would hate that. So I don't want them to do it. So I think that they should only do half days. Oh yeah. Like, I don't know I would, how, when you, that outdoor education and how they have all weather recess. Oh no, I don't. I hate that. She's gone like twice. I, I could. Get, I rescue her on I'm that with one her. too. No, I am. I got TJ to pack an extra outfit because when I go and he's wet, I'm like, you poor baby. I know. Sitting there wet. I know. I think that that's so weird too. I have that. Um. That's so weird. Um, in my relationship, I uh, I don't like nothing, but I like only positivity. Mm. I don't even want to hear a complaint. I don't want to. I don't even want to hear that you have to go to the bathroom. I don't like complaints. I don't like that. I don't like a mood. I don't like a bad day. I don't like anything other than toxic positivity. I, I only totally want agree. toxic positivity. In my and house. you know, our husbands just that find that so annoying about us. I remember when I heard about toxic positivity the first time. Like, I, I immediately that. knew, like I immediately knew that I had it. Yeah, because we felt a bit defensive. We fe- exactly. <laughs> I was like, well, I was also thinking, now everyone's going to go around and be like, hmm, that's Natalie. Yeah. There so, it is. So See, it's a bad thing. So there's no pessimism. Mm-mm. It's just all toxic positivity. I'm like, yeah. what's wrong with that? But I think And then that- I had a friend go, yeah, I have that. I do that. And I was like, oh, own it. Yeah. <laughs> Us own too. It. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I'm I like, thank you for saying it first. And I only want that in my relationship. That's, that's not fair. I know. I punish you if you're not toxically positive. I know. You know, people really have a problem with people who don't want to like, you know, go there and talk about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and have a problem. Yeah, and, and like talk about their problems. Why is everything a problem? <sighs> it's not a problem. Only if you think it is. And also, even though we all... Didn't you say this one thing about like everyone has their like trauma, whatever, but it's you and their issues, but you can choose to like let them be a part of your life or to release them and move forward. Not the bad ones, like not like I sexual think that abuse. I, and I, I, well, no, I think that all you have in life is your what you have today. Like if you want, if you really, if you, you want to go into different therapies, everyone, there's different therapy styles, right? And one is about who you are rather than what happened to you. So mm, who are you now? Like, right. Let's not go back to, let's not, let's not beat the shit out of what happened to mm-hmm. you to make you who you are. Mm-hmm. Who are you now? Mm-hmm. Are you strong? You're resilient. Mm-hmm. You're like, whatever happened to you happened, mm-hmm. but that happened. Mm-hmm. It's you not can't change it. happening. Mm-mm. So who do you want to be today? Because what happened to you, mm-hmm. yes, it impacts your personality, but if you don't like it, mm-hmm. then be aware of it, and you can be like, and you okay, can work on that. It doesn't have to be who you are. Yep. Listen, it's one style. It does not have to that 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 I might like not that resonate style. with anyone. But you don't have to live. You don't have to live as your trauma. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to. No, you don't. It does, not not everything has to come. Mm-hmm. 
if you believe in that therapy style, not everything has, you don't have to sit there and talk about where you came from. I feel like we learned a lot about that. Let's just go back to Oprah. She was very like that, right? Yeah. 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 She's like, I oh, so much of what is amazing about me is what happened to me. Yes. You can mm-hmm. flip the script, but you don't even really have to see it as something um, for trauma. You don't have to see it as something that ruined your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, it's whatever you want it and to be. And so many people have these, so many amazing, successful um, people and maybe like amazing, successful people who, who didn't like, what's it called when you like, you're born into it? Like, um, yeah, like not that, but the other one where you make it on your own. It's- all of those people have a story. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody was just like, there's very rare people that make it, um, make it on their own and don't, and didn't go through things to get there. I guess you just have to stop and realize, I guess sometimes I don't like things when they're not my way. Mm. Like, <laughs> Okay, that's two lines. Yesterday she said something and this is really, I don't like it when things <laughs> when you, it's aren't great, my way. It's a great, Yesterday it's was, great it's a great day. To not be dead. No, you said to be alive. <laughs> and I was like, what? Because it was sunny. It's a great day to, I thought she was going to say, go for a run, go for a bike ride. She's like, to be alive. Just quietly on the side, to be alive. I'm like, pardon? <laughs> I'm dying. Because I'm it's like, a great day to be alive, and because I'm like, I don't like it when no, some doesn't go my way. Because some days when it's gray, you're like, I oh, really again, uh, what's the point of this shit? Yes. And then I'm dying of muffin sword. But then when it's sunny out, you're like, actually, I'm glad I'm here. Uh, it's kind of like a check. <laughs> so glad it's so it's a great day to be alive. Like, and then she like, was questioning if people like live in warm places ever feel that, or they just feel the like same you're just all like, the time. Wow, I am actually genuinely happy. Oh. I feel alive. I'm yeah. so happy I'm alive. Uh-huh. Like I actually was aware I was alive. Mm. You were aware you were alive. That's nice. I was aware I was alive. Hmm. That, just that, driving in the car. Uh, yeah, I was. And then I thought, hold on. The window was down. Uh-huh. The birds were chirping. Yeah. I thought, well, we were making a turn at the time. We were making a turn. A no, turn. you weren't even in the car. I was on the phone with you. No, I was mm-hmm. right beside you. Going down Mount Pleasant? Because we drove, no, we drove like a lot yesterday because I came with you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we went somewhere. Oh, we went to the theater. Just a great day to be alive. Great day to be alive. I felt that. I felt like I was happy to be alive. Yeah. Yeah, and then today, I just like it my way. Over? I like it my way. way. (laughs) Like just, I just don't like it when (laughs) things don't. It doesn't go my way. I only like it my way, which I'm going to work on. That's mm. sort of bratty. I'm going to work on that. I'm mm. going to acknowledge that as a problem. Ugh, really? You're just for a minute. Can we really change at this point? Yeah, I can. I'm just going to, you know Ugh. what? I'm just going to be. Don't work on it. I'm just going to be aware that I like things my way. I'm be aware. Be aware of it. Just be aware. I'm not saying I'm changing it. I'm just going to be aware. <laughs> I'm going to be aware that that is something. Mm. I have a little one who's exact same that mm. way. Right. And it's annoying as fuck. Mm. So. I'm going to work on that. Mm. Just let you know. Okay? Mm. Okay. You're working on nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think about your issues for one second. I just want to think oh. if I can. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I told you one, but I think it's actually a, a big positive. Oh, yeah. But I think you're very rare. In mm. the, I think it's actually a gift. For real. We'll see. No, I do. I guess it's lasted this long. No, I think it's a gift. I, I think because here's the thing. If it's a big it, one is running out of gas. I do it all the time. It's not really an issue. Mm-mm. That's not a that I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, it's okay. I know. I'm I'm low again. It's okay. I, I'll I have to go to the gas station again. You know how many times I go to the gas station? I know. Me too. But the problem's coming anyways. So are you going to stress or are you going to just not? It is. I think that's really the life I lesson. Think, I think what it what what it is is the the deep understanding that's what what's meant to be will happen. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you can control it a little bit, but I don't. You know what? I mean, meant to be like. My path, like that's who you are. Like I have, no, like there's like my spirit will take me. Mm. Wow, <laughs> where I'm meant to go. Well, we are. In, so you're just leaving your spirit. You know, I picture your spirit on like a ghost train. Mm. You know, like in a roller coaster, mm-hmm. it's like just like like a mine cart. Mm-hmm. You know, like with no handles, mm-hmm. and you just it's almost like a laundry basket Wee. at the hotel. You laundry know those basket at the hotel, the big they push them yeah. like a trolley, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and you're just on it. And but you, you know what I mean? Like I, I I really do think like my favorite movies when we were younger were Sliding Doors and um and uh serendipity because i really when i saw those two movies i they really spoke to me mm. meaning that like it could happen later it could happen now like death 
it could be anything a breakup it could be like but eventually if it's happening it was meant to happen it was, oh, me- you it was no, gonna oh, happen anyway you can do you do have control because your spirit will take you there oh but like trust that trust that the universe is going to take you in the place that you need to go you have to do a little bit of things to get there you can't just no it's not that it's just like you're it's if it was going to happen whether it's going to happen today or 10 years from now it's going to happen but it's not just randomly happening it's right. happening because of who you are you know uh, yeah so it's like yeah it's like you um obviously like you think your path was determined no not that i think that where i go and what happens to me is meant to be happening at that time got it and there's nothing you can do to fix that it's not about fixing it it's already happened it's like in that moment it's happening and so it's supposed to be happening right then got it and what gets your blood pressure boiling Mm. I was thinking about something recently Mm. you know it's funny speaking of that my one of my sons uh, observed that um so many men that he's in car- cars with get road rage. Me too. No, I said so does Cat. But he said your husband doesn't. Huh. Mm-hmm. But he said a lot of dads. He's like, it's really to watch. It's like Mark for sure. Like he gets like so mad about things in the car. Yeah. And, and I see drivers and they're, they make a mistake. I think to myself, they didn't mean to make the mistake. They didn't want to be the difficult one. Well, unless it's you and you're butting the line. And I'm like, I know you're butting the line. You should have waited in line told like you. everybody else. I told you. I want it my <laughs> <Yeah>. way. <laughs> but like, um, so that so men's a lot of men's blood boils. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. I'm trying to think of somebody that really makes me mad. Hmm. Nothing. I mean, I don't know. Have you ever seen me my blood boil? I used to get really pissed at, with having four little kids. Really? That's when I need them to do something. Yeah, you get mad at them for that. Mm-hmm. I see a blood boil that when mm-hmm. they don't listen. You, you are a screamer. Mm-hmm. You get mad. Mm-hmm. I'm, well, that's where it's different. Mm-hmm. I don't scream. Mm-hmm. I don't get mad. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And often I have to yell because they're being so loud these days. I used to yell at them when they were younger just because I was mad. But now I have to go louder than them because they're so loud. Yeah. Obviously, I taught them to be loud. <laughs> um, What blood, blood's your boil? What blood what boils your blood? Bad drivers. That's it. Ironically. Yeah, that's it. I would say I don't, I don't, you can't really get my blood pressure going. Uh, like incompetent people. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're paying them. Mm. I don't mean like direct staff that we have, but like uh, blood boil. It's uh, when people, I, and I hate entitled people. I don't like people that do th- like, yeah, the, I'm not, but they're not going to make my blood boil. Entitled though. people. I'm yeah. just gonna, I don't like, like when people are slow. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know that too. I don't even actually like when people talk slow. Oh yeah. No, me too. This is a good podcast. Holy shit. Yeah. No, I would think that. I would say that what would frustrate me most about you if we were in a relationship, like we were dating, would be that, but it doesn't frustrate me, so that's fine, is that maybe, which I'm thinking is why I would, I probably am frustrating too, is we don't like problems Mm -hmm. and we don't like conflict and Mm -hmm. we don't like, we're we're willing to just kind of like ignore most Mm -hmm. of everything. Mm -hmm. If it involves something and that, that does, needs to I be know addressed. that annoys people. I know that annoys people. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I, I would say that because it, it really doesn't like, mm, like yeah. get to us. Yeah. I think that's probably frustrating. Yes. But I think it's beautiful. I, I have uh, like <laughs> one example inspired. of how it, it, my husband, it, it, it bothers him a lot because he hasn't said it in a while, but he always used to say like, oh, everything's fine for Natalie. Like nothing's a problem. Everything's just going to be okay. Is the one time that I smashed the toolie on the top of the car. Because I went to underground parking and watching him go through the motions of being so m- upset that it happened and me being like, but it, it's already broken. Like, I can't go back and unbreak oh, that's it. That's how I feel about life. Right. And so like, but he's like, but you, but you need to feel, you need to feel like mad. You need to feel mad or bad that you did it or like regretful that you forgot or yeah. anything. Like, but I don't feel any of those feelings because I think they're useless. Yeah. Because right now we have broken Thule. Feel we can buy way. a new one or we can not get one. And who the fuck has a Thule in their car in the city of Toronto when you have to do underground parking? I Idiot. Know, I know. I feel the Thule's off, by the way. The thank new Thule. Thank God. I know, but I kind of like knowing it was him driving around the city. With the Thule. Put it back on. 
<laughs> I don't drive that motherfucker. Yeah, no, it's fun. It, it is. It is. Um, I was just thinking in relationships because I know a lot of people could like choose someone else's ick, but I don't know if they could choose their own ick. Like, what would be the ick? Just curious. Anyways, thanks for joining us. Let us know your what if you know what your ick would be. Mm-hmm. I go to bed too early. Mm. I'll be an ick, and I'm such a lightweight. Mm. So I'm either really fun or really boring. Mm. Not much in between. Mm, but life is long. Yeah, I don't know if that's. I'm really fun, but early. Mm. I don't want to stay up till two in the morning ever. Life is long. Ever. But isn't it fun to think that maybe things could change? But I want to have fun earlier. Yeah, you could do both. Matching. All. No, you know I, those people? Yeah, well, kind of. I want it, but I, I mean, if I'm going to have fun, I'm going to have fun early. I love bed. I love getting cozy, cozy, cozy. Mm. So good. Cozy. Mm. That's probably what death will feel like. Cozy? Being in bed, yeah. Cozy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Good to know. Mm-hmm.